Janet, and I'll be your instructor in your first week as the security guard here. If you like, please don't answer the phone, and just let me talk via the voicemail, just like you did. Okay, so, welcome to the Freddy's work team. You'll get pretty much fun here. Doing, uh, you know, your security guard labor, checking out the cameras, and sitting in your office, and, okay, maybe a little boring, but your job here is the key to keep our safety and our electricity costs low. Yeah, those robots consume a lot of electricity, so we must save our energy and use a power unit during the night to keep our electricity bill low, or at least not too high. It's been a mess around here since they bought those characters. They got the spotlight, and everybody's caring more about their maintenance than other important stuff like the cleaning. Seriously, the building is dirty and neglected. On the other hand, the guys who bake the pizza are not being paid well, so the quality of the food has gone down. Even though the popularity of this place has been skyrocketed, everyone's here to see the robot performance. They don't care if the meal is trash. Oh, I forgot I'm supposed to give a good impression of this place to you. Well, I like to be honest with others. That's how I am. You don't really have much to do right there. Just watch those monitors and report any incidents that may occur. It's very quiet around here. Just try not to fall asleep and keep an eye on the animatronic characters. Maybe they are a target for burglars if they have advanced technology parts or something. Those robots never gave me a good feeling to be honest. Anyways, you got this honey. You just stay awake and be sure to keep this place safe if anything happens. Please let me know to proceed with the corresponding protocols, or maybe just call the police if you're, like, alone there. Don't worry! Move stuff to protect yourself. And you have an entire door locking system. You can activate it. But I recommend you switch the power source before, because the power unit can't handle it for so long, and maybe it will run out of gas. That's as unusual. However, I'm not the right person to explain that to you. You may need to talk to Becca, the technician, and let her teach you how to do it. I honestly don't think you'll need it since that's something to be used in a critical situation I've never seen it used. And I've been working there years ago, but you never know. It wouldn't hurt to learn how to activate it, I mean, activate it with the actual outlet. I gotta mention that you're not alone right there. They also have something in the office, in the gift box right behind you. It's something like a doll. It's really scary in my opinion, maybe that's the reason why they stored it. Probably that's the kind of prototype of the ones in the stage. I really don't know exactly. They bet on the animatronic show since a couple of years ago, and it seems like they succeeded with that one, but they never got rid of it. I'm still thinking that the fact that they can reply to you and can keep a conversation is so uncanny. Did you know they're inspired by that all female 80s band called Silicon Butt? They're literally a parody of them! Now they're animals, and they're called Cyclone Butters or something like that. They have a similar name. I don't know how they haven't been sued for plagiarism. Anyways, I'll let you concentrate on your work. And please stay awake and be alert. You'll be there until 6 in the morning, so please be as preserving as you can. Good luck, and see you tomorrow.